Welcome to Microsoft Word uh, 2013 lab number four. In this lab, we will learn new topics. Yes, we will learn new topics. We will learn how. Well, let's go ahead and read the instructions and find out the topics covered in this lab. Guess which file do you need in this lab? You need Word lab four instructions file, which is located on Blackboard. You should be able to find that in the week that has uh, this lab. So please go ahead and download the lab and open it. And once you open the lab, you should be able to get uh, this page. And in this page, it's, it says in the title, Word Lab for Instructions. We will learn in this lab how to create a title page, how to insert a page break. Then we will set the document's margin. Are you ready for more? Yes insert headers and footers we will uh, cover that in more details and then we will change the default paragraph settings also we will learn how to insert a page number apply themes and insert a page border so basically we will have a lot of work with the insert tab where is the insert tab this tab here why is that because microsoft is trying to make our job easier how by grouping commands that are similar in the same tab so whenever you need to insert something which tab do you go to you go to the insert tab what if you need to do something with bibliography or citation or footnote and endnote which tab do you go to well we didn't cover that yet but that is in the references tab because it makes sense it sounds like it goes into that category what about main merge? Okay, well, let's go ahead and focus on this lab first, and then we will come back to these topics. In the instructions of this page, it says, well, before we read the instructions, what did we used to do when we start any new lab? Yes, you are right. We go to the title of my open window or the instructions window, and then click and hold the left click and drag all the way until, until I touch the right edge of the screen using my mouse cursor and then let go now let's read the instructions step by step create a blank page if you have Microsoft Word open which is the case that we are in right now you just press Control N on the keyboard and that will open a new instance that is blank the default and then I will drag from the title and then touch the left side of my screen now I have two pages side by side and I can work in an easy environment so save the open that you just created which is the blank document here on the left side as Word Lab 4 so how do I do that I will just go and now I will just use the quick access toolbar some of you might go to the file and then click on save or save as I will click on the desk here it opened the same backstage view location I will save it inside my computer and I should have a folder that I created before that says Microsoft Word Labs if you don't have it you need to create it so I will go ahead and click on it and then I will name this file Word Lab Lab number one Lab number four and then I don't have to put the extension because it is the save as type is DOCX and I will go ahead and click save and what is next I'm ready for for finishing this lab very quickly create a title page centered in the middle of the page with the following items oh watch out you need to read that carefully title page centered in the middle dead centered in the middle of the page vertically and horizontally so when I says when I say here centered in the middle of the page I mean vertically and horizontally so how do you make some text centered vertically and horizontally to do this correctly to do this lab correctly let's first put the contents of the title page okay and then we will go back and center it vertically and horizontally so how do we do that we go to the first line and then i will uh, start typing here apply different different what different formats all right, to to what? To Word documents. All right, 
and then press enter so that is the first line the second line type the college name which is mountain empire community college okay. all right now second third line your first name and your last name if your name is john william you type john william and i will go ahead and type my first name and my last name and then press enter now it says insert today's date in the saturday june whatever or basically that today's name this will be different so you don't have to put the same date that you see in the instruction you put today's date in this situation i'm asking you to put the to the day name first and then the month name and then the uh, number of the day and the year uh, four digits year separated all of these items separated by commas as you see in the instructions so to do that i need to insert which tab do i need to go to yes you are right i will go to the insert tab and then i will need to insert what uh, i need to insert what i need to insert let's make this bigger let's make this bigger when you make it bigger look if you have your page on the left side you don't see date and time you don't see date and time where is date and time so most likely you need to make it bigger so you can see if i make it bigger I, now i can see under the insert tab date and time but i need to make sure that update automatically is selected and then i need to choose the second format as you see it here and i will go ahead and click ok now i will come back and drag my window to the left side now go ahead and center this text dead center in the page to make it centered vertically and horizontally how do you do that you need to go to the page layout tab and then click on the dialog launcher icon this icon here which is beside the page setup as you can see it here and then i will click on layout tab by default the margin tab is selected you need to click on the layout tab and then you look at page vertical alignment you choose centered right and you apply that to the selected text and then click on ok now it is centered now vertically now how do i center it horizontally i will go back to the home tab and then click on center now the title page is dead center in the middle of the uh, page so now i'm done with with number three let's go ahead insert a page break after today's date so i will click at the end of today's date here make sure that the uh, cursor is blinking and then press control enter control enter or you can go to which tab do i need to go to if i go to page layout i can click on breaks and then i can insert a page break as you see it here once i click on it it will insert a page break or you can go to the last at the end of the last line of the first page and then press control enter and that will give you a, a page break and by default the page break will go to the dead center of the second page so make sure that you display show height format to be able to find out where is your page break right so now i will need to click in the middle here backspace and then backspace again now i am in a new line press control enter well why is that why is this is happening every time i press enter it takes me to dead center to the to the middle of the page i need to fix that how how i need someone please go ahead and think with me i'm not working alone here i need you to work with me so uh, do you remember how did we set up the vertical the text to be centered vertically did, do you remember how do how do how did we do that you go to the page layout and then you go to the dialog launcher and then you change that to top not the the whole document this point forward and then click ok hoppa so now i have here look i have page break and i have 
section break. Why? Because I separated the format. I separated the format. How do I how did I do that? By going to the page setup and then applying a different format to the second page. Now this document starts from the very top of the uh, screen. Okay, insert a page break after today's date. Now type equals R A N D. Okay, well I need to hide the form show hide format. So I will go click on it again. And now uh, I will type equals R A N D and then open close parentheses and then press enter. Well, I get what I get five. These uh, functions will give you five uh, paragraphs. It says here merge the first and the second paragraphs. So to merge two paragraphs, basically you click at the end of the first paragraph and then press delete. That will merge two paragraphs, but make sure that you leave a space after the uh, dot and then merge what else? Merge the last two paragraphs so you will go to the one before last and then click at the end of it and then uh, press delete on the keyboard and then take a space now you have both of them merged as you see okay now indent all paragraphs have an inch from the margin using first line indent so since you are going to indent all paragraphs you need to select all of them and you go to the dialog launcher beside the paragraph group under the home tab or you can go under the page layout and then it says here under indent do you see here this is left indent and this is right indent but I need to indent the first line I don't see it here so I will go back to the home tab or under the layout group both paragraphs group if I click on the dialog launcher here, I see this page. If I click cancel and then go to the home tab and then click beside the paragraph group, I get the same uh, page. And then a special indent for first line, half an inch. Now click on OK. If you'd like to set that as your default action, so every time when you work, it applies that automatically, you can click here. But now I will go ahead and click OK. And now I am done with It change first line indent perfect it change the page margin to uh, moderate so now you go to where the page layout and then click on margin under the page setup group and then it choose moderate so that will apply the moderate margin okay. insert a page number at the bottom of the page so I will go to the insert tab is that right well I need to insert so which tab do I need to go to yes you're right insert tab and then I need to insert a page number at the bottom of the page what is the name it's called the brackets too so you keep scrolling down until you see brackets uh, brackets too so here it is where is it and then once you have it here to get out of the footer you click on close header and footer or you double click inside the document and that will take you back to your uh, document now insert a page number we already did that insert a drop the cap for the first paragraph and the last paragraph so let's go ahead and click select the first paragraph and then let's go ahead and maximize the window so we see all of the options do I need to go to insert yes I need to go to insert why because I need to insert a drop cap and then I will click on drop cap here and then I will choose the dropped here this will give me a dropped cap for the first paragraph and I need to do that also for the last paragraph same thing under the uh, insert tab and then dropped now I go back take this my take this window and then position it as it was before why because I need to see all of the commands and how that that's how you see it insert the following subtitles for each paragraph so for each paragraph basically you need to insert a subtitle for example here professional uh, documents so you go to the first one well now that's that isn't it isn't it tricky so I need to go to the first line of this paragraph so I'm moving with my with my arrows arrow keys 
So I need to go to the first line of this paragraph and then insert a title. Okay, the, this is a little bit challenging. That's why I'm doing it this way. Because since you are a professional now, you need to make sure that when you uh, insert a new line, for example, if I, if I do it for this one, it's easier. If I press enter and then go up, and then press backspace, that will take me to the beginning of the line. If I maximize the window, you should be able to see uh, better. So uh, I will type here, uh, what is the title for the second what is the title for the second paragraph? Uh, effective, effectiveness of uh, themes. So I will go ahead and uh, put my window on the left side here. Okay, well, it took the uh, formatting. Why? I, if I need to remove the formatting, I go to home because I copied it and pasted it. Remove formatting. So now I added this title to this uh, paragraph to apply the subtitle style because uh, read the description here it says apply the subtitle style so you go here and then it choose subtitle subtitle here subtitle now I have it correct perfect so I added that for the uh, second one okay for the third one it should also be easier if you uh, press at the end of the second paragraph and then backspace that will put you at the beginning of the uh, line because you don't have to have indentation in this scenario that's why I'm creating this video so you know exactly how I need you to create it and once you do that you will practice and you will learn you will learn better and that's the point of doing these these labs and these videos so in the last one additional formats in the instructions here for C additional formats as I see it in the description and then I will select it and apply the subtitle all right here is the challenging part I need to add a line before this paragraph so if I press at the, uh, at the first line of the paragraph and then press the home key on the keyboard and then press enter okay well look at my V my V now is not in the correct location. So if I click and drag, if I click and drag down, now I put it almost in the right location. So you know that you can move. Okay, let me maximize this window so you can see better. I will go ahead and maximize this window. Do you know that this is basically, it's very similar to a text box or an image or an object you can make it smaller you can make it bigger you can move it down but you need to make sure that you need to be very careful you need to make sure that you are when you move it you see these four head arrows and then drag down and that will give you the ability to move it as uh, you see now so now I will go back to the first line and then I need to add a title this is it sounds an easy lab but it is it has some work so that's why you need to uh, do the work All right everyone okay now V is a little bit connected to the text so I need to move it a little bit to the left side so and now I'll go back to my okay, does it align with the S no I need to move it a little bit so it is aligned with this is it aligned almost almost now I'll go to the first line of the paragraph and then type professional documents and then which style the subtitle style okay now let's read what is next uh, insert we already finished the insert here and then I will scroll down see what we have we have apply the theme that you see here retrospect so I will how do I apply a theme first you click anywhere inside your document and then you go to page layout and then you well where is theme is it under design yes it is under design so be careful if you are using 2013 you need to find out where is the theme it is under the design tab and then click on themes and then find retrospect 
if I click on retrospect, it should apply this theme to my document. Alright, so now let's select this whole text and then go to themes again and then choose retrospect. Well, did you see any change? Look, if I try to, to hover on top of a different theme. So, do you know what? I like the basic. Let's go ahead and change that. I will go ahead and change uh, the theme to basic. Why? Because I need the orange. Because the next bullet it says apply the orange accent. So I will change this here. I'm so glad we are making changes now. So that the theme apply the basic. Okay, here is the theme. If I go to themes again, do I have basic theme? If I click on basic theme, let's go back here. I need the one that we just applied. So let's go here and look at the one that gives me the orange title. Do you see it? We need a, a title that looks like the orange one. Okay, now if this is going to change we will uh, focus I, I don't want to confuse you here let's let's be precise so let's look at uh, retrospect as it was before okay well retrospect gave me the orange that is wonderful so do you see when I change the theme so when I go here back retrospect so I guess we need to change that to retrospect so I will go ahead here and uh, change it to retrospect so is that is that orange yes it looks like orange so again let's make sure that we are in the right track retrospect choose it yes it gave me orange perfect so even if you uh, are working with previous version make sure that you get or choose a style that gives you or a theme that gives you the orange color and I will consider it correct I need you to be innovative because this lab is not uh, asking you to do uh, 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 something that stops you from being innovative. I would like you to make things better, make it better. But you need to follow the instructions so you uh, finish the items covered in the lab. So I understand and and I know that you are completing all of the steps for the lab. You minor changes or something better, I will really appreciate it if it is better. But if you cannot do it better, just follow the instructions. So insert a page border. Okay, so I will, uh, how do I insert a page of I need orange accent too. So I will go to, uh, well, let's go back to uh, design. Under design, I have page border here. When I go to page border, I need to make sure that my border is page border. Okay, well, I need to choose color. And then I need to choose orange accent 2. So I will focus on orange accent 1. Accent 1. I need orange accent 2. So this is accent 1 still. Orange accent 1. Orange accent 1. Okay, well, which one is it? Yes, it's the one here. You see it? Once I have it, it says orange accent 2. That's what? That's I need you to keep digging into the option until you find it. So now I will click on it and then make sure that the uh, style for my box here, it says box. If it is none, you will not see any, any border. You need to make sure it's box and then click OK. Now look at my document. Let's make this bigger. Look, this, is, this looks much better now. I have a professional document now with me. Perfect. Okay, the title. I don't do I have let's go ahead and read the instructions again. So now in here it says submit, save and submit. But if you'd like to add, I told you to be innovative. So if I need the title should uh, this is very straightforward. So uh, 
very basic, right? I need to make it maybe bold. Uh, let's go ahead and make this uh, Camry font. Pooh, look at that. It looks much better now. Uh, some of you might uh, try to uh, maybe change the color of Mountain Empire. For example, here you would like if you would like to change it to orange accent too, so it matches the border. You can and look at my document now. If I open this hair now, it looks very, 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 very uh, nice. But I told you if you uh, would like to stick with the basic, I will control Z to undo, control Z to undo again, undo again. So that is the basic. That is what I'm asking you to do. If you do it this way, I will just consider that as perfect uh, uh, file, right? So uh, if I need to see this document two pages in the same screen, I will go to uh, view, alright? And then I need to click on multiple pages and now I have this here. That's what I expect you to have before you uh, submit your solution and uh, that takes us to the end of today's lab uh, thank you everyone for watching and i will see you in future uh, tutorials bye bye